So a little bit more behind the scenes here. We are shipping out some rods today. We got a pair of 20 pound spinner rods going out. You know, I'll probably put some pen uh, 7500s on those. We got a few swordfish rods going out. I was out of swordfish rods for about three months, but just got a big, uh, big batch of them in. So they're ready to ship out though, but these are the swordfish rods we use every day. So we got three of those going out today. We got some of those butts here. We got a T10 there from Winthrop going out. And of course we got my mom here helping out, getting all the stand stuff going. Hi mom. Hi Nick. Getting some more Bun Mary stuff hung up here, some of our camo shirts. And this is the stuff a lot of people don't see, but this is behind the scenes and uh, it's shipping day. We just did our swordfish camp for three days and had a lot of fun there. That'll be a separate video. I don't know if that'll be out before this one or after, but a uh, great group of guys and had some great fishing. So that's what we're up to today. And I think we're gonna go try to chop down some fresh coconuts because I got a call or a text from Jenny. And she said, hey, I got lots of coconuts here. And I said, let me get a hold of Mike. Mike loves cooking with coconut. So with a little bit of luck in a couple hours, we're gonna be down climbing some palm trees or maybe sitting on a ladder, chopping down some uh, coconuts with a machete. So we'll see you guys there. I'm gonna keep uh, packaging up some stuff here. All right, we're back by the chicken coop. We yeah. saw Jamaica Mike's uh, chicken foot one. soup video with it. these chickens over here. We took a picture with them. They're in there somewhere hiding. Yeah. Jenny one. called us, said we gotta get the coconuts down. Yeah, one. We're coming for your coconuts. Coconut, you know? Yeah, yeah one. You're smuggling a big old coconut in there. Oh, that's a baby girl. <laughs> yeah, Mikey's oh over there, but they got lots of coconuts here, all up in the trees. What's up, guys? We're not gonna eat the chicken this time. No chicken. I don't. They nope. ran away. They did. They did. Well, no. I mean, they're on the they're, street. They play. Oh, I got all right, here's a mother load of coconuts. We got a lot of them. There's like 50 coconuts up here. Look at all these coconuts, you guys. Oh, we're in coconut heaven. Look at that. We gotta get the machete out, here we go. Oh, Mikey's already got the tool. Got the cutter. He knows what he's doing. We've done this once or twice, right? We brought a machete there. I thought we were gonna shimmy up the tree, but there's a professional. Oh, coconut. Boom. Yeah. Are these good ones, Mike? Ah, uh, they're good. They it looks like that's how, they, that's how big they're gonna get. So those ones are browning up already. Right? Is yeah. there supposed to be water in them? Should be. Let me see. Um, you know what, too? And the tree is like, it's still a smaller tree, too. Yeah, but. You got a small coconut tree, apparently. Yeah, so probably that's why we have the small coconut, you know? You see? So I don't know if that's the reason why. But they look ready. The thing is, they look ready, they're small, but they look ready. Like, right. you see how they start to look Oh, this one's dry. got milk in it. That one might, yeah. This one's getting this one's dry too. Yeah, this one got the water. I'm gonna chop this one. Water in it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like, let me see this one. But you see the greener one. I like the greener one for drinking. Holy manatee, huh? Yeah. That's what it is. It's a burp or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me chop this one, Nick, and see. Well, you gotta get them down either way, right? Yeah. So you wanna get them? Yeah, these ones. He had the tool to do it. I didn't know he had the tool to cut them. Oh yeah. Yeah, not the coconuts. I'm gonna have to share now. We're not sure. <laughs> yeah, we could. So what happened is like, we call this one jelly. Like when, it, when it's green like this, so we call it jelly coconut. So what happened is like, you chop it, you drink the water, water, and then the, 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 the coconut itself, it's, it's soft and you can scoop it out and eat it. Maybe this one is like this. Let me see. Let me see. So anyway, so like, see, yeah, see? Ah, oh, yeah, they're ready and fit. So that's what, see, that's the coconut itself. And then we'll cut off this now. Which this you can just eat, it's a, just a saw for coconut. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I have nine other trees that we can conquer. There you go. Oh, it's good. You see, that's the water in oh, it. That's that's full. It's just yeah, so it's full. Is that the one we thought was empty, maybe? Yeah, no. that's the same one you picked up. I could not get here. They're ready as a jelly. I know. I sent you the picture, and I was yeah. like, yeah, I got some coconuts that are within reach. We don't have to get on a ladder. Yeah, I don't know. Can you drink that or not? Oh yeah, this is my favorite. It is. Yeah, the it's coconut water. They chop it and drink it. You should yeah. try one. Have them on your boat with the bananas. Yeah, have a mix. we can just open up the coconuts right there with the machete. Uh huh. Really good. People start getting dehydrated and get hot on the boat. We 
could give them the coconut water then. And that's the perfect thing. They're good for hydration, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a lot in there. So what I do, I chop it, drink the water out, and I cut it out and eat that coconut meat. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna chop one for you guys. Yeah, I need a demonstration again because I forgot from last time. <laughs> it's so sweet and good. It's really good. Fresh. It, it's good. Yeah, yeah, I'm on. It's just a smaller coconut, but they're fully loaded. It's, 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 got, it's good. It's got every essential. It's got everything going on for it. Yeah. So in Jamaica, we say we wash off the heart with it. Right. It's a coconut because it's so good for you. They say, literally, it's not like, it's just a figure of speech. But they say, drink coconut water, wash off your heart. Yeah, and I want to eat a piece of coconut too. Can you eat the coconut too? Yeah, eat that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a lot better than any coconut water. Yeah, man. It's good. Yeah. That's coconut jelly? It's yes. good for that baby, huh? Uh huh. She's, She's already like, drinking coconut water. Yeah. Very healthy for her. It's good. Yeah, man. It is surprisingly good. Coconut. It's like a lot better than normal. Yeah, usually when I've had before, I never liked it. These are it's actually like sour really sweet. Or something. Yeah. yeah. These are good. I can put a straw in an umbrella and act like a real fancy drink. <laughs> Yes, exactly. So that's the coconut jelly? Yeah, well, this one's getting a little harder. So what happened? Like once it's green and it's, it's get, it gets big, harder and, and more, like till when it's dry. Uh -huh. But there's sometimes the jelly is softer than this. And that's gotcha. what people just scoop okay. it out and eat it. Okay, gotcha. But you can still eat this too. Right, it's not as soft. Right. I might find one with a softer jelly. But that I'm going to take home. Got it. Here we go. Nice. Back up. Yeah. I'll see if I can land this one. I'll see if I can get this one. Back. Yeah, perfect. I will land him there. Nice. Yeah, awesome. Half of them. Oh, nice. got most of them. <laughs> awesome. Nice. That one. So we got all them coconuts, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Coconuts now, courtesy of Mikey and Jenny. Do you want these ones too or not these ones? Yeah, you can throw them in there. Yeah. This here got the water. Yeah, this one got water. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, man. We got the coconuts now. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are the girl pose. Oh, those are the Yep. For the kids. Future kids. Even trade coconuts for clothes. Oh, you get the yeah, shoes, it'll be good. They'll have growing in a day or two. Oh, it's just. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I don't even. Yo. No, I need All righty, so Mike spotted these other coconuts, the big ones that he says will be the juicy ones too. But it got hooked. Our, <laughs> our gas came apart. So I was supposed to hook it under the, not the coconut itself, but right into the stem. Yeah. And put it, but it got hooked into the coconut, so I couldn't get it down. Yeah, it's perfect. I'm going to need a ladder for sure. This is perfect. Nice. I couldn't help it, I can't resist it. That's how we spend a Monday. Yeah, I'm on, Monday fun day. It is Monday fun day, isn't it? It sure is. Yeah. You got some Jamaicans can climb the tree fast and easy. Can you? I can't do it. I can't do it. Here, hold yeah, that other it's side. It's a lot of practice. Course, so yeah. yeah. But they'll go up in there so fast and they'll be down. Yeah. Perfect. I'm going up. Uh, it's a sturdy ladder. It's a good ladder. Thank you. Is that famous famous last words. No, yeah, it's, it's not. a sturdy ladder. It's good there. <laughs> right? <laughs> there we go. I got one. You got one? Yeah, here it is. Is it empty? Well, this one's a little dry. <laughs> this one could probably make some rice and peas. Okay, coconut rice and peas, huh? Yeah. You know what? This is kind of risky right now. He, oh he saw the big coconuts. He really wants them. All right, everybody out the way? Yep. All right, I'm going to grab one back here. Here we go. One. <laughs> Where did it go? It's going to send you the truck. Okay. All right, careful guys. One might be coming down again. Woo! See? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> that was going to right for me, yo. All right, I could probably can get some now. Watch out, guys. This one will probably come at me. All right. It's a dangerous thing, too, you know? You've been out of Jamaica too long, you're rusty. Jen's still the way. Whoa! I looked at Jenny, I was back. I didn't even move much on that. Come down a little more. That one's split. Right, I think I'm getting some now. Yeah. One more. Careful. Alright, guys, watch out. Coconuts are gonna come now. I got him. I got him. I got him. Whoa! <laughs> it's still on the gas. It's still on the gas. <laughs> Yo! This stuff will knock you out. Yeah, it will. Yes! I'll drop it. 
You know, more people are killed by coconuts a year than great whites. I, I heard that. that. Yeah. Well, there could be four be potential fatalities here. Watch out. I'm in the danger zone right now. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Should I stop? No, you're good. Keep getting them. Because I ain't coming back no. here next week. Watch out, guys. Whoa! He's coming at me, yo. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> They're mad at me. Yo! His hat came off. Here we go again. They know Whoa. who's taking oh, them down. Yeah. It's Dude, like he, somebody threw a coconut down. You got little smiley faces on. Oh! <laughs> they didn't want to come down. They're mad. Alright, watch out guys. Oh. Oh. Watch out again. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, this is funny. Whoa, watch out. We got him, we got him. Whoa. Dude, you figured out the coconuts. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. Nice. Woo! I gotta chop one of those when I get down, for sure. Yeah, well deserved. Watch out guys. Alright, alright, alright. Wanna grab that one? Yeah. Yeah, got it. Cool. This one coming off. Yo, I got the whole bunch right here. Mike, at this rate, one. you'll be done in about six hours. All right, I'm getting one for rice and peas now. Okay. Dry one. There's one a more. Dry ones for rice and peas, guys. That's for the rice and peas, you know? Another dry one here. You guys got so much coconut. Good, see? I get them once a year. That's what happens. They grow back. See, this is a dry run right here. I'm going to cut one of these. This is good for rice and peas right here. Yeah, it's perfect. a healthy coconut. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what's up, guys? I think I should call it a deal now. Yeah. You're gonna quit while you're ahead? Yeah, I feel like I feel like if I don't stop now, I might get hit with the head with one of them. It you know? happen. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't never seen anybody gaff coconuts uh, before. It was a coconut fever right there. That was. Coconut fever. Co coconut yeah. fever. <laughs> For real. Good job, gaff. Yeah, you know. Oh man. We're gonna drink one of these, you guys. I'm gonna cut see how the water is. It better? It should be. I'm gonna get you the uh, machete. They're starting to brown up because some coconut will come more greener and then some of them will be more yellow. Oh, there's a lot of water in them. Oh, she is bigger than coconut. <laughs> should be that soon. A lot of water in this one. Is there? Yes, let's cut this one. Can't hear that oh, one this either. is fun, guys. You made my day, man. Yeah, Jamaica Mike needed some coconut, you know? We got coconut Yeah. All right. So we'll put them in. Oh, these are good coconuts. Oh, Lord. Good ones. They are good. And it's not dry. It's always up there, wasn't it? They got good coconuts. Uh, yeah, these are good coconuts. Yeah. Not saying the other ones were bad, but, you know? Top of the top. Top of the top. More mature trees. More mature, you know? I'll show you, I take it back. Those are good. They taste real good. They were really good. This one's a little drier though. Yeah. Alright, perfect. I'm gonna get the water out of this one. This one's a little tougher. But the water is good. Yeah, see this one's more solid. This could definitely ready for make a rice and peas or something. Mmm. -hmm. Good. Who wanna drink this one? Let me go with the first one. Should yeah. I go first? Everyone take a sip. Of it. it tastes the same. It's, that one tastes better. It does. Way better. Let me cut another one. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What happened is I think these. Well, that's the neighbor's yard, so. Oh yeah, they're probably enough. Uh, yeah, no, that's the yeah. Yeah, they didn't take your yeah. No, we're taking the neighbor's coconuts. coconuts. <laughs> my coconuts are yeah. better. <laughs> then my coconuts are better. This would be more like to cook with. And. It's a little different on the top. You still chop off, chop the bottom here first. You see how it's drier? And you could light a fire with this too. And then you can chop off this side too now. I'm gonna do this the Jamaican way. When you get the whole, the whole coconut out now without, without cutting it in half. Yeah. Yeah. So, real quick. And then you go like that. I remember you did the one. The one was tiny on the inside. You said never trust a coconut. Right? It never, it's true. Sometimes it's... Sometimes it's actually like coconut part of the center. It's like really small. So yes. Exactly. So here's a dry one now. And we could just break it. What? And then the water too. See, that's some water. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. See, yeah. this is perfect. Dude, let me see how... It's not as good, right? 
No, it's 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 actually good. Oh, okay. Mmm. It's not as, but For it's still game. okay. Mm -hmm. This is good to cook with, right? Yeah, perfect. You just or bake. Out. Yeah, or bake exactly. So we just break it. Uh -huh. I don't have a a knife, but you use a knife and then you just take them out. You're gonna slice your hair. Oh no, it's good. I got it. Is there a nurse around here? The nurse on standby. Looking your way. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. We'll get that out of there. Don't try this at home, children. No, don't, please. Don't. It's a little dirty, just rinse them off, because, you know. And then That's you can awesome. eat a piece of this, too. Eat it raw? Yeah, you can eat it like this. <laughs> Are you putting it up to me? Yeah, it's your coconut tree. It's your neighbor's, technically. Yeah. It's a dry one. This one is Yeah, I think you got the bite. <laughs> okay, I'll spit it out. Is it decent? Yeah. A little tough. It's chewy. That tastes like coconut. Yeah. This is the other like... one was a little sweeter, almost. Right. So, and then this can. A lot tough. This is where you get the milk. It's so good though. The actual milk. So once you take it out, you, you, it, right? yeah, you cut it up in pieces, put it in the blender and water, and then you put it to a strainer. Or you can make a rice and peas. Or some shrimps. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's lunchtime. I'm hungry. Speaking of that too, you could actually get a bunch of, like a couple of them, and same thing, blend it up, get the milk, and boil it down to a custard. Remember that video? Yeah, yeah. And you can get oil from it. You could boil it down and get completely coconut oil. You take off some of the oil and then the custard that's left, you can cook your shrimp right in there and just serve that over right rice or anything. Delicious. Huh. And that's the original coconut shrimp right there. Yeah, I want Thanks for sharing your coconuts with us. Yeah, boy. Thank you. How many coconuts you get in there? About 100 coconut. That's a lot of coconut. Yeah, man, it's about 100 coconut, yo. Coconut oh, galore. Holy. I could sell coconut. Yeah. Yeah, man. See it? Yeah, man. Big up Jamaica, you know? <laughs> Heck yeah, the coconut. coconut in the Florida Keys. Let's see it. <laughs> All right, a lot of mercy. We got coconuts to drink. We got coconuts to eat. And you got green ones, yellow ones, and brown ones. We can make rice and peas. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm on. All right, let's roll. So, tree Sarah, respect. That battery was twice as heavy as this garbage can full of really? coconuts. <laughs> Yo. Oh, these are good ones. Yeah, I'm on. This is the new shirt here. The stands yeah. banana swordfish. The haters gonna hate. Yeah. There's an old one. Nice one. Yeah. Those are going on the website here soon in the next day or two. But uh, so that's a little fun one. Yeah, I like it a lot. Sir, it's okay if I put the machete here? Yes. Yeah. That might have the shot. Oh, good. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I want. What do you think? Good? Yeah. Sour? No. It's a. Uh... It's not as sweet. Sometimes they're sweeter when they get a little bit more ripe, but it's like green coconut milk, so. Yeah, we have these other green ones we've right. ever had. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let Sarah try one of the green ones to see what she thinks. She don't have to drink it's that one. It's a little dirt. <laughs> now this one, it's not sour, it's just not super sweet, you know. Yeah. Right. These green, little green ones are the best I've ever had. Yeah, these, these ones are nice and sweet. Yeah, these are good. If you were stranded on an island and you needed water, you'd be super happy. Oh yeah, big time. Mike, you cut that thing up there in like 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, you know, we used to cut them, you know? Yeah. See, this is a better one, Sierra. Try this one. Yeah, try that one. I'll hold it. Yeah. I, oh, that, yeah. That's a better yeah, taste. Those are one. super sweet. Mm -hmm. That one's fine. It's just, it's watery. Yeah. So maybe the little green one's different species or something, or I don't know. Just a different kind, yeah. Good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on. I'm about to drink it all. Yeah. <laughs> I was thirsty. I was going to the tackle shop to get a drink. This is my favorite. I love him. Drink it big, all of it. Finish it. What do you mm -hmm. think? Good stuff. We'll ride out. We'll be all right. Some... All right, so Sarah just put a new battery in here. It ain't coming out either. Was it a pain? It was a pain. I cut you my finger. finger. I didn't smash it. I just cut my finger. All right, we got that. I so now to, we got... I had to put it in with my foot and, like, kick it in. <laughs> yeah, boy. So we got two house batteries and three trolling motor batteries now. That should be good to I go. Even tried to turn it on yet, we'll see if it worked there. No wait, don't. It's oh yeah, no, we're not, we're not ready yet. Oh, we're not ready. Okay. All right. And then I'm just trying to put everything back together now. But we should turn it on and try. And we really just want another battery, just for safety. You know, have another house battery in case we need it. Coming good? Good, good, good. So 
But this is one of the houseboats the guys have been working on for a long time, actually, over a couple years. I actually shot some video of this boat a year and a half ago when it was gutted and in the boat yard, but I never did anything with it because it took so long. But they got doors and windows in it now. They redid it, the hall's in good shape. They got the floor in there, fridge, this and that. Here's the bathroom and shower. And this is gonna be another houseboat here at Bud Mary's. And I mean, you can look out your window and you can see the ocean. So pretty cool way to stay here. We're not a luxury five-star resort by any means, but if you want a unique experience, come on down here to Bud Mary's, check it out. There's the master bedroom right in here they're working on. Poncho's painting away, Contando, huh? Yeah. Looking I good, huh? Good to you. There you go, clear cut all the way. Uh, yeah. It's looking good. Shells. Yeah. So this will have two bedrooms in it and uh, be a neat place to stay if you ever want to stay on the water down here and just experience something a little bit different. You can see right out your window here. Look on out there. Pretty cool. Good job, that one. Looking good. Thank you. Oh, I'm in your way, huh? Mm -hmm. I big out of the way. I think this is the last thing for the day. We're back at the house sealing up some swordfish steaks and uh, the food saver there. And this was a little bit of fish that we kept from uh, the swordfish camp. All the guys took a bunch with them and we just kept a couple of pieces. Give some to uh, Linda, who's our friend that helps out with the kids some. And just vacuum sealing some. I had one big bag, so we did that. And then we're doing mostly just uh, two packs here, so it looks pretty good. Oops, tenderized that one, but looks pretty good just like that. You know, getting most of the air out. We're gonna go put these in the freezer downstairs and uh, that way it lasts for a while. So I, I'm probably swordfished out for a while. I don't need to eat anymore myself, but got some friends that really like it. So just gonna, you know, freeze up maybe uh, seven or eight bags of it there. And have some good dinner for everybody. I'll just show you doing one and uh, show you kind of how we do it. We want the fish as dry as possible. So we pat it dry there. We have a limited amount of bags right now and this is all we got, but they actually fit in here. Okay, if we put uh, two in per bag. So we're gonna put two of these steaks in there just like that. And we try to place them where we get them real close together so there's not much air in there. So just dry off the other steak here just to get you know as much moisture off it as possible. Then we'll put them together. Looks pretty good. There's a little funny space right there, but unfortunately it's gonna stay there. So hopefully we can get it to suck the air out. But we got it just like that. Close this. Back and seal. And I'm just pulling on the back of here. You know, you want to pull the back flat as possible, put some pressure on it. Pull out any air bubbles or gaps like that. And let it seal on up. All done. So, that's how you can do some swordfish for the freezer. You guys aren't going to believe what just landed here. What do we got? We got live crawfish. Look, look, at at this, look at the size of this one. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, straight from Louisiana. Cajuncrawfish.com? Cajun crawfish. Cajun. <laughs> Cajun crawfish. That'd be hard to say three times. Cajun, Cajun crawfish. Cajun, Cajun crawfish. crawfish. Look tough. at these guys. They are so lively right now. Holy smokes. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Sadie. Sadie just had him. Where are you going? He's a new pet. Come play with him. We're going to eat him later. Anyhow, Astrid got a bunch of crawfish here, you guys. The beam's coming over in a little while. Picking out a couple of dead ones and uh, putting them in here. And it looks like almost most of them are alive, huh? Pretty yeah. Them. So that's a good batch. Look at the size of some of these. We don't want to eat any dead ones. What else is going in there? Potatoes and corn or something? Potatoes and corn. Potatoes, corn, and crawfish. Ah! <laughs> come here, come look. Come look Where's at them, the tongs. Sadie. Go get the tongs. Oh, he wants to fight. Are you ready? Sadie's got the tongs, bring them out here. Oh, he's still moving. It's okay, Sadie, he won't bother you. I'm calling him alive. He's still moving. If they wiggle at all, they're good. Look, 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 look. Look at him going. He's like, all right, I'm gonna stay. Sadie, come get one, come on. Look ah! at this thing, look at that mud bug. Boom. Shop? Yeah. Claire, do you want some? Oh my gosh. Fire. Oh, a lot of them? Yeah, they get muddy. Fired up. Yeah. Ew, what's yeah. that weird thing in there? That's Where? Right. There's like a weird thing Ow! in there. It, no, it was just like what, a little piece of oh my God. or something. <laughs> That's a moose. Hold on. Oh God, don't pinch me. Dude, that is, ah! that is <laughs> a moose. Give me a mitt. <laughs> Give me one of the oven mitts. 
Fangs <laughs> yeah, with wall of these. Oh my gosh. Cut them in half though. Makes things easier, guys. Definitely gotta have that strainer thing, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> I told you. Some Cajun <laughs> spice in there. <laughs> Woo! That looks good. Are you ready? And just leave it. In yeah, there? we'll just All let right. it. We're gonna let it rest for a little bit. It's hot, daddy. Hot. We'll pick it up together and do the same thing and go like. Oh, yeah. Boom. Let's clear it. He's in here, watching himself on TV. Oh yeah, look at that guys. That's the proper way how to do crawfish boil. <laughs> nice job. Sadie excited? You wanna eat some? You wanna eat some Sadie? Phenomenal. It's hot. I'm going to town. Beans already ate like 20. I haven't had I'm, 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 I'm not as good as eating them. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bean, I thought you were going to suck the juice out of the head. The bean machine. He's got <laughs> left fist, right fist. Stuff. <laughs> Throw it away. Look at that. Mm -hmm. and One after another. Oh, gone. Bye. Boom. Boom. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my time, type of girl. I'm like, it's like a competition. It's like you only have so many crawfish. <laughs> Gotta get what you right. can. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, me, you, and Ashford will. There won't be any left. No. Me and Sadie are on the same page. Did you try one, Sadie? Yeah. Yeah. A little lobster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good little All right, if you guys want to try crawfish boil, where do they come from again? Louisiana crawfish? All right. CajunCrawfish.com. Okay. Cajun. Cajun they are still wiggling when you get them. They are still moving. We have some in uh, Nick's kitchen somewhere, like on the floor. They crawl out. Yeah. They crawl out of the pot on the floor. Look, Claire's eating one. Claire's eating one too. Get that crawfish, Claire. Oh, crawfish, Claire. <laughs> Sorry, is it spicy? Is it hot? Sadie. Sadie's got ice on her lips. I'm a wimp too, I can't handle the spice, but they all said it's not bad and they're devouring Sa it. Sadie, uh, Sadie got Nick's jeans for sure. Yeah, and Claire got Sarah's jeans. Sarah. She's given, she swallowed everything we've given her. Claire's a monster, she's eating everything. We only put in one bag of the spice. You're supposed to put in two. We only did yep. a half dose. Sadie, the spicy? Sadie can't even talk. How's the ice? Yes. What happened to everything? <laughs> You guys ate it all? We ate it all. There's nothing left. No. There's seven potatoes. Dean, that's my knife. Three corns. It's good too thick. Sadie, did you like it? It's spicy, huh? Claire, are you eating more? Claire, Claire's still eating. I need a baby. I'm not the baby. I know, you're a little kid. All right, good job. Claire, I just stepped in a crawfish. <laughs> yeah. Still going at it. Her face, like, leave it alone. Hope you all enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. If you want any merch, check out the website, Stan's Fishing. One of our brand new shirts is coming out. 
Hopefully we'll see you guys down here in the Florida Keys. Have a great spring and uh, it's Easter Sunday coming up. So we're gonna have fun with the girls. We'll see y'all next time. I'm getting back to eating dinner.